In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming question number of islands. So the problem statement is given a 2D grid map of ones and zeros. So ones represent land and zeros represent water. We have to write a code to count the number of islands. And an island is surrounded by water and is formed by connecting adjacent lands horizontally or vertically. So it's the important point. So it is formed by connecting adjacent lands horizontally or vertically. And you may assume all four edge cases, all four edges of the grid are all surrounded by water. To understand uh, this problem statement, let's take few examples. So uh, in the first example, let's see how many islands are present in this 2D grid. So from the problem statement, we are clear that we can move only in four direction, in upward direction, in downward direction, in right direction and in left direction. And based on that, we have to find the number of islands. We have to count the number of islands present in this 2D grid map. And also, so if we if we see, uh, I mean, let's say if we start traversing this 2D grid from this point and if we start connecting all the uh, ones, all the lens, then if you can see uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one, this one, this one. So this are connected. These all ones are connected. So it means one island is formed here. And after that, if you see uh, uh, rest all rest all other elements are zeros i mean all other elements are water so only one island is possible in this case so the output is one and now let's see the second example in this example so again we have to move only four directions so if we move them so let's see this one this one and this one and if we move here so it's water again it's water it's water and it's water so one island is this one and now again this this is the second island if you check upward downward uh, left and right uh, rest all of them are water so second island is this one and these two are connected uh, i mean horizontally but if you move upward downward is not possible if you move uh, left so rest all are water so this is the third island so three island is possible in this case so the output is three so this is the problem statement and now let's think how we can solve this problem in my previous video tutorial i have already explained how we can solve this problem using depth first search or you can say dfs and the link of that video tutorial is present in the description box so in this uh, example in this tutorial let's discuss how we can solve this problem using breadth first search or bfs so in this problem to count number of connect number of islands we can only move in four direction so upward downward right and left so the idea here is to traverse a 2d matrix and whenever we found a grid whose value is one add this coordinate in a queue and find all other connected land in four direction and also we have to uh, keep track of the number of islands so in that case whenever one is uh, found whenever land is found just increment the value of that count variable and also to mark already visited land change the value uh, to uh, any other value apart from 0 and 1 here i have changed the value to 2 so let's visualize this approach and then we will see its java uh, code so let me uh, take one queue and in queue so let me just uh, put some uh, columns and now let's traverse this uh, 2d matrix so when we start traversing a 2d matrix so at 0 0 so we found one so we found one land and also let's take one variable count and in short form i am writing as c whose initial value is 0 now when one is found let's increment to one and put this uh, coordinate in a queue so let me put them in a queue so it is zero zero also mark this point as visited so to mark them as visited change its value uh, other than zero and one so here i am changing its value to two now what we have to do is 
we have to pull this value from a queue so we have to pull this coordinate from a queue and we have to move in four direction to find all connected lands so four direction it means we can move in these directions and out of uh, these four directions this one and this one is invalid we can't so the value of i and j cannot be negative so it it is not like minus one zero and zero minus one it is invalid so these two are invalid and these two are valid so uh, the coordinate of this point is so it is uh, zero and one and it is one zero and also we have visited uh, these two points so let's mark them as visited so change its value to two and now in next iteration we have to pull this value so we have to pull this value and again from this point we have to move in four direction one this one this one this one and this one so this one is invalid this one is water so it is already uh, it's also uh, discarded and this one uh, so it is already visited so only uh, we left with this point and it is one one so one one let me add it and change it to visited now in next iteration we pull this value so we pull this coordinate and we have to move in four directions so this one up uh, so downward upward right and left so this one is water this one we already visited and this one is invalid and this one we already visited so uh, we, uh, nothing to add in a queue and in next iteration we pull this value so we pull uh, this coordinate and from this point when we uh, move in four direction this one this one and this one so this one is water this one this one we already visited and this one is also a water so now we have uh, found uh, one island and now after this we uh, go back uh, uh, to traverse again uh, this 2d matrix and when we reach at this point again we found one so we put this coordinate so Q is uh, now Q is empty. We put this coordinate in a Q and it is the third row and the third column. So basically it is 0, 1, 2. So if, if we count from 0, so it is the second row and 0, 1, 2. It is the second column. So we put 2 and 2 here. And also we increment uh, the count of our island. And previous count is 1. Now it is 2 so from this point we move in four direction so this one this one this one this one to find the connected land and except this point all other are water so it is surrounded by water so zero 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 so we pull this value and after that uh, there is nothing to put in a queue so uh, we uh, till now we have found two island and after that again we keep uh, traversing this 2d matrix and we when we reach at this point so this is 0 1 2 3 so this is third row and 0 1 2 3 third column so we put them in a queue so 3 3 and we increment so uh, also we have to mark them as visited we increment its count and now it is 3 and we mark them as visited and when we pull this value from a queue we move in four direction upward right then left and then downward so this one is invalid and this one only this point is valid so we put them uh, in a queue so it is the third row and fourth column so if we start from uh, counting from zero zero one two three and 0 1 2 3 4 so we put them uh, in a queue and uh, in next iteration uh, so also we mark them as visited in next iteration we pull this value from a queue and we move in four direction upward uh, downward right and left so this one and this one are invalid this is water this is already visited so after that we came out of this loop and also the 
2D matrix that traversed completely, we return three. So we found three, three island in this uh, 2D matrix. So this is uh, our approach to solve this problem. And now let's go through the Java code. Now let's uh, discuss the Java code implementation of uh, this approach. So in this method, we get uh, 2D matrix. So it is a 2D character grid. And uh, here is a uh, few checks. If uh, if this grid is empty, simply return zero. And here I have declared three variables. Uh, one is count to keep track of number of islands to uh, row to get uh, the length of row and the length of column. Then here is the direction. We only move in four directions. So suppose if we are at zero, zero, if we are at this point, so we can move uh, in one zero we can move in zero one we can move uh, minus one zero and we can move zero minus one so we know these two uh, points these two moves are invalid but at any point we need to add these four points for four directions so that's why i have declared an array of directions so basically uh, which tells we have to move downward we have to move right we have to move left and we have to move upward so uh, and out of uh, these four moves we also have to check which one is valid and uh, which i will explain shortly uh, don't worry about it and here i have declared q so in q uh, we keep an array so in array only two elements are there so uh, the coordinate of i and j the position of i and j and here we are traversing this uh, 2d matrix so when we traverse a 2d matrix whenever uh, uh, the grid whose value is one whenever we found a grid whose value is one simply increment the value of count which i have already explained so whenever now let's say when one is found simply increment the value of count and add this coordinate so add this coordinate its coordinate is zero zero in a queue and mark them as visited so mark them as visited and then run this loop while the queue is not empty. So I mean here we are finding all the connected land. So uh, we are finding all the connected uh, lands. So uh, this queue is not empty. Then we pull this value. So which is zero zero and we move four in four directions. So we take this uh, direction array. So uh, the value is so the coordinate is zero zero so first this value comes so we move in uh, one zero so we move in downward direction so yes and here is the check to if the value of row and column is greater than or equal to zero and also the value of row and column is less than uh, the row and column length and this grid value is one then add this coordinate in a queue and mark them as a visited so when we move in this direction, it is valid. So we add this coordinate in a queue. So the coordinate is one zero and we mark them as visited. Now, now the next coordinate is we move in zero one direction. So it is also a valid one. So we add them in a queue and we mark them as a visited. Now let's uh, when we move in this direction, so it means uh, its direction is minus one zero. So when we check this condition, so the value of row is greater than equal to zero. No. So this condition is skipped. Similarly, for this value, when the value of column is minus one, so this condition does not satisfy and we skip this value. So in this way, we keep traversing the value and this while loop will run uh, until we find all the connected ones. Once uh, all the connected ones we found there is no way we can move uh, in downward upward left and right direction then we came out of this loop and we go back again uh, from where uh, we left uh, the 2d matrix traversal and we move to the next element and then when next one is found again we do the same thing similarly again we do the same thing and i have already explained uh, this complete process and after when we're done with the traversal we simply return this count 
and the count is three. So this is how we can solve this problem. Now let's talk about its time and space complexity. So its time complexity is O n square as we are traversing this 2D matrix. And what about its space complexity? So its space complexity is big O of n. So its time complexity is big O of n square. And uh, here uh, its space complexity is big O of n. We are using a Q data structure uh, to keep the coordinates uh, uh, so to keep the value of i and j uh, in a q so uh, this is how we can solve this problem using breadth first search and it is very important to know uh, the multiple approaches to solve a problem so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video